Hey guys, uh, IT Ops Guy. I am getting the last of my virtual machines ready. Uh, so let me tell you where we are um, from before. And um, where we are is we've got all four virtual machines. Um, they are all set up with the exception of SQL 01. Um, so I am currently installing the OS on that one. You see that guy right here. Um, but here's our current setup, right? So um, I've got a domain controller um, and it's got, you know, one gig of memory. It's got this IP and it's got a domain called testdomain.local. Um, I've got a web server. Uh, this has IIS installed already. Um, we do not have this set up, so we have to do this again. Um, so we need uh, SolarWinds installation. And then we've got our SQL box here. Um, that is the one that we're doing. We're just gonna use, I, or, I'm sorry, SQL Express. Um, I started to say IIS Express, definitely the wrong thing. Um, but we will be using SQL Express instead. Um, so we are getting that going as well. Uh, all of these boxes are joined to the domain, again, minus SQL01, since we're currently uh, setting that guy up. But we're inching closer to the finish line, right? So um, what are we going to do? We are going to create a service account, um, so we still need to do that. Um, so we'll, we'll create a service account, um, and we will call that solarwinds.svc. Um, we'll give it a password. Uh, whatever password we end up giving it. But this is the account that we're gonna use to pull all of these boxes, the applications, everything. Um, so we'll have to make sure that that's in place and available on all these boxes. So um, we can crank that guy out as well. Looks like our server is about ready. Let me eject the media and let's restart it and hopefully it will pop up here. And then we can go through the process of um, just doing the initial setup of the box. We'll set a name, we'll set the IP address that you see here, um, and we'll get that guy going. So no problems there. All right, let's take a look. It's ready for a password. So let's go ahead and set one. Again, it's just the um, really horrible password we've been using um, back there on the Excel document. So again, this is a lab. All we're doing is playing around. Um, obviously, don't share your passwords on YouTube. It's kind of a bad idea. Um, but since all of these are connected to a private switch, nobody can reach them. Eh, whatever. Living dangerously, as they say. Um, so... Let's uh, wait for a server manager here. And once that is up, we will configure our server. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that I like to do uh, is set the time zone, but you can do this in whatever order, you know, tickles your fancy. Uh, let's set our IP address. And what I've been doing is just turning off IPv6 against lab environment. I don't and no need for that, uh, 0.15, and let's go like that, and like that, and that should be good. Uh, let's take a look and see if we can ping, hey, a domain controller, looky there, all right. So let's go ahead and set the name of this guy and the domain. We'll do it all in one shot because I like to live dangerously. So let's do that. And we will get this guy to join the domain. So I had a heck of a time, by the way, um, you know, because I've got some finite resources on the box, figuring out how much RAM every box was gonna have. Um, and so for, for looking at this, 
Um, you know, we ended up for DC01, it, it has up to 1.5 gig, uh, but it's using dynamic memory. Uh, Web01 is 1.5 gig. Uh, SQL01 has up to 3 gig. And SolarWinds01 has up to 3 gig. Um, so all in all, that's 9 gigabytes total um, that I am giving to this lab. Uh, and then we actually modified this. So this has six CPUs and uh, my SolarWinds guy has six CPUs as well. So um, a little bit more than what I anticipated, but uh, it's, it's okay. So um, get that guy set up. Hey, it looks like we got to join the domain. So let's go ahead and restart the computer. And so we're really getting to um, be in a good place, right? So what we need to install now um, are um, SQL Express. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that on our SQL box. Um, so why don't I go and get the, um, the ISO? So let's go um, Microsoft.com slash Express. Um, that's going to take us to Visual Studio. But, well, it used to take us everywhere else. So let's go. How about SQL? There we go. Let's go Downloads. And I want On-Prem Express. There we go. So we've got SQL Express now. And now the only thing we need to worry about is how we're going to get it on the machine itself. Um, so, okay, so Web01 has um, IIS now. And let's go back to um, SQL. Let's connect to that guy. Now we just need to worry about getting it. Um, and actually, since it's on a private switch, uh, that's actually going to be a problem. So let's let's give it just really quickly. Um, a different. Let's see, how do we want to do it? Let's add a network adapter and let's connect it to um, the default switch and that should actually give me some internet let's see if it's got internet now whoops let's uh, think about it think about it Oh, do we finally, there we go. All right, it found a route. So let's do the same thing here um, that I just did on my local box. So we can get, uh, I don't want to sign into Edge. Hurry up, just give me a browser. All right, get started, confirm, stop. And let's go like that. Ugh. Two interfaces, not the way to go. Uh, where were we? We need to go. 
downloads. And let's do express. Oh. Here, let's do developer. Since it's technically for non-production and this is a test, I think developers is probably um, probably right. It was eh, web and small applications. Maybe that's what we'll we'll do. We'll do Express. And then as soon as we're done here, uh, we will remove um, that nick. Um, so this is going to be SQL Express. All right. So we've got our installer. Let's execute that. And I'm just going to use all the default settings essentially all the way through. Um, so we're not, you know, not too concerned about it. Um, we're also going to create a SQL user. Um, so we will do, you know, SQL.service. Essentially, we'll create another service account. Uh, so this is going to take a while. We're going to let this guy run through. Um, and while we're waiting, let's go into the domain controller and let's set up that service account. Um, if you've never done that, it's a very simple thing to do. Um, so we will go, whoops. And our super secret password. And so let's set up, um, we need users and computers. And if we, we've got our domain controller, DC01, and if we go to computers, here are the other ones. Let's go expand out users. Um, and let's, let's just create a new user. Um, and we will call it solarwinds.svc um, and this will be the solarwinds user uh, let's change that to service account there we go and the password and we're going to say the user does not need to change the password and the password never expires. All right, and I am going to put that user inside of the um, domain admins. Um, so we've got that there. Um, so that user is now in the domain admins group. And it's also the domain users, but let's remove them out of that group. Oh, we'll set that as the primary. There we go. Remove that. Yes. Bye-bye. All right. So now that user is there. Let's also create a um, SQL.service account. So let's go SQL service account. Oops, and let's go SQL.svc. Again, we'll uncheck that and say it never expires. And we will put this guy also in the domain admins group. Uh, we will make that primary and remove that. All right. So we've got a couple of domain users. Uh, let's switch back to our other machine. Um, so both of those accounts, by the way, are that. 
just wanted a slightly different password. Um, so here we go. Uh, let's do, uh, what do we want to do? We want to do probably custom and put the media there. That's fine. Um, all right, so it's gathering all the files needed. Uh, and now we're just essentially going to wait while it's getting those files. So I will um, catch you guys once SQL is done installing. And then we'll start installing the SolarWinds bins. So uh, we're getting really close. Uh, but uh, appreciate you guys. Keep watching.